Factsverse presents 19 Famous Married Couples Who Were High School Sweethearts Most people have their first crush when they're in grade school. They have their first real relationship in high school. Some wait until college. Many high school and college romances don't stand the test of time. The two people grow apart, they change, they realize things just weren't meant to be. There are, however, some relationships that do stand the test of time. It happens with ordinary people, but it also happens with celebrities. This is pretty shocking considering that many celebrity relationships seem disposable nowadays. Well, here are a few married couples who were actually high school sweethearts. John Bon Jovi and Dorothea Hurley John Bon Jovi likes to keep his private life private, which is why a lot of people didn't know that he even married his high school sweetheart. In 1989, during his Jersey Syndicate tour, he brought Dorothea along, and the two were married, and they have been ever since. The couple was married in Las Vegas at the Graceland Wedding Chapel. The couple share three sons and a daughter. When asked how they keep their marriage strong, Dorothea says that she has gone to every one of his concerts for 27 years. Tyler Posey and Shauna Gorlick Tyler and Shauna met when they were very young. Tyler says that he knew when he was 11 years old that he and Shauna were meant to be due to the strong connection that he had with her. He asked Shauna to marry him when they were just kids, and in 2013, the dream came true and Shauna accepted his proposal. Sadly, it turned out not to be. The couple stayed together for 10 years, and a year after getting engaged, they split. A source close to Tyler gave a very selfish reason for ending the relationship. His career was beginning to take off, and he believed that if he settled down in real life, it would stall his career. Wow, what a jerk. Bono and Allie Hewson When Bono was only 12 years old, he met Allie Hewson. They were both high school students in Dublin when they met. Allie went on to become a businesswoman and activist. She has a passion for anti-nuclear war activism, fair trade promotions, and child rights. Bono says that the red carpet has kept the couple so close. He calls it a magic carpet ride. The couple's been together now for over 30 years. They have four children together. The family divides their time between Ireland, France, and the United States. Bono says that ever since they met, Allie's told him, don't look down on me and don't look up at me. Look across to me. I'm here. Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman Elizabeth and Max met on her first day at the University of Pennsylvania and have been together ever since. Max is a sports writer and a producer, and they've been married for over 15 years. Before getting married, Elizabeth started converting to Judaism, but she never finished. She says that she now feels as Jewish as she's ever going to. The couple have two children, both through a surrogate. Snoop Dogg and Shanti Taylor Snoop and Shanti met in junior high school, and over the years they have had plenty of ups and downs. Their first son, Cord, was born August 21, 1994. Snoop filed for divorce in May of 2004, citing irreconcilable differences. But he threw the divorce papers away. He says he realized he needed his wife and son in his life, and he will not be asking for divorce ever again. The couple's been together now for 22 years and say they couldn't be happier. LeBron James and Savannah Brinson LeBron and Savannah have been together since they were in high school. They went to rival high schools in Akron, Ohio, but that did not stop them from being together. In high school, he played football, she was a cheerleader, and she played softball. He took her to Outback Steakhouse on their first date, and she remained by his side during his NBA career. They've been happily married for 15 years and have three children together. Jeff Daniels and Kathleen Trado Jeff and his wife Kathleen met in high school in Michigan. They went to college, where they were college sweethearts. After getting married in 1979, Jeff went on to win two Emmy Awards and various nominations for Golden Globes, a Tony, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. They've been married for 40 years and have three children, Ben, Lucas, and Nelly. LL Cool J and Simone Smith LL Cool J and Simone were introduced when they were in high school by a mutual friend. They were married in 1995, and they have four children together and a grandson named King James. In 2004, Simone was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. LL stopped working entirely so that he could be there for his wife. Simone, fortunately, beat the cancer thanks to her husband, and they've been married now for almost 24 years. Good job, guys!
Samuel L. Jackson, and Latanya Richardson. Samuel and Latanya met at Morehouse, and they were married in 1980 and had a baby girl a year later. Today, he's 70, she is 69. Over the years, Samuel's had problems with drugs, but his family won't give up on him, and neither will his wife. Julia Louise Dreyfus and Brad Hall Julia and Brad met in the 80s when they were both attending Northwestern University. Brad was producing a college play, and Julia auditioned. And while well, the rest is history. In June of 2019, the couple celebrated their 32nd wedding anniversary. They have two children, Henry and Charlie, and in 2018, Brad proved how devoted he is to his wife. She battled breast cancer in 2018, and he was there by Julia's side the entire time. Rain Wilson and Holiday Reinhorn Rain and Holly met while they were performing in a play at Washington University in the mid-80s. The couple was married for 10 years before they had their first and only child, a son named Walter. Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan Mark and Priscilla met at a frat party in 2003 before he became the co-founder and CEO of Facebook. Well, we, we know a lot about Mark, but not so much about Priscilla. She is a pediatrician and a philanthropist who can speak fluent Cantonese. The couple were married in their backyard in Palo Alto in May of 2012 at a surprise wedding ceremony. Timothy Oliphant and Alexis Keefe Timothy and Alexis met when he visited the University of Southern California. They were only 23 years old when they got married in 1991. It's been 30 years since the couple graduated from college and their marriage is stronger than ever. They have three children, Grace, Henry, and Vivian. Eli Manning and Abby McGrew Abby and Eli met at Ole Miss when she was a freshman. He was a junior. The couple dated, and in 2008, they were married at a resort in Los Cabos, Mexico. The couple have three children, Ava, Lucy, and Caroline. Eminem and Kim Scott Eminem met Kim in junior high when he was sitting on a table rapping to I'm Bad by LL Cool J. When Eminem was 15, Kim and her twin sister moved in with him, and they ran away. The couple married in 1991, and in 1995, Kim gave birth to their daughter, Haley. The couple had a very rocky relationship and divorced. After saying that he would never get married again in 2002, he did get married again, to Kim, again, in 2006. Well, sadly, that marriage didn't last either, and they divorced yet again. Today, the two are still friendly, but they are no longer married. Sarah Palin and Todd Palin Sarah Palin, the former governor of Alaska and former presidential candidate, met Todd in high school. The couple stayed together and, in 1988, they were married. They have five children together – CJ, Trigg, Bristol, Willow, and Piper. They also have four grandchildren. When Sarah found out that she was pregnant with Trigg, they were told that he had Down syndrome. Despite all the challenges, the couple has remained as tight as ever. Mariano and Clara Rivera New York Yankee star Mariano Rivera met Clara in junior high back in 1991. The couple have three children, Mariano III, Jafet, and Gisele. Until 2000, the family lived in Panama. After that, they moved to Westchester County, New York, and then to Rye, where they are living today. Things between the couple have not always been picture-perfect. In February 2019, a woman in Panama claimed that Mariano fathered her 11-year-old son and her 15-year-old daughter and didn't pay child support. Well, he has rejected those claims, and currently there are five lawsuits against him in Panama. Clara, however, is standing by her husband's side. Joey Fatone and Kelly Baldwin In the 90s, Joey was one of the most recognized teens in the world, thanks to being a member of NSYNC. At the time, he was in a relationship with his high school sweetheart, Kelly Baldwin. The couple dated on and off for 10 years and were married in 2004. They have two daughters together, Chloe and Brianna. In 2019, Joey filed for divorce, and shortly after, he appeared on the red carpet with his new girlfriend, Isabella Arujo. Turns out the couple had been dating for four years before Joey filed for divorce. Robin Thicke and Paula Patton Robin met Paula in 1993 at the LA Teen Nightclub. The couple dated for 12 years before getting married. In 2010, they welcomed a child together. They were together for over 21 years and married for nine before things got ugly. Robin had been accused of drug abuse, infidelity, and domestic abuse by his wife. 
When they filed for divorce, they said it was due to irreconcilable differences. Subscribe for more!